this is Dee with the CSI Project, and you are listening to the weekly podcast called the CSI Confidential. Today is a special day because I not only have one guest, I have two guests, and that is great because why not just talk to one, why not talk to two? These two ladies have a blog together, which is a really great idea because I have so many friends and never thought about doing that. I, I don't know why, but that sounds like an awesome idea. Their blog is called the Pinterest Project. Dot com, well, Pinterest Project. You can find it at pinterestproject.blogspot.com. And this blog is all about pinning and creating those things that you have pinned. And a, they say that a pin a day keeps the crazy away, and I absolutely do agree with that. I say crafting anything daily keeps the crazy away. It keeps you a little bit sane. So I have these two ladies with me, and I want each of them to say hi. I have Jamie with me. Hi, Jamie. Hey. And hey. her friend and blogging cohort, Miranda. Hello. Hi, Miranda. And, of course, um, I want them to talk about themselves because that's what you're here for. You're here so that everyone can get to know you and to have that craft conversation with you. So, Miranda, I would like to ask you first um, why the Pinterest Project and why you started blogging in the first place. And, of course, tell us a little bit about you, a little bit more than what we can see from your blog. Sure. Um, well, I guess just a little bit, a little bit about me. I'm originally from Vermont and moved to North Carolina about nine years ago. So I've been here for a while, and I met my husband here. I have three, well, I have two children now and one on the way, and I have two stepsons. So all, all the kids wow. in the house are boys. Oh, wow. I'm surrounded, <laughs> yeah, I'm surrounded by a lot of testosterone, which I think might segue into why um, why I love to craft so much, <laughs> because I'm surrounded by so many boys. Um, so that's kind of, I guess, just a little bit about me as far as why the Pinterest project. Um, Jamie actually introduced Pinterest to me last year, and um, once I really got into it and figured out what it was all about, we started sending each other back and forth different pins that we'd seen or different projects that we liked, different recipes. And it just sort of became this natural progression to start doing the things that we were talking about with each other. And because we were so into Pinterest and into reading blogs anyway, it just sort of made sense that we would start our own blog. And instead of talking about the pins, um, you know, doing them and then kind of reporting back, I guess you could say, or explaining how the project went, how the recipe went, did it work, did it not work, did we find something that worked better. Um, so kind of just testing out all the pins that we that we would see on a daily basis. Well, I think that sounds like a great idea. I think so many people out there are probably thinking, wow, why didn't I think of that? Because you, you do that. I do that with my friends. Did you see this on Pinterest? Or I see that they pin something already. And I will say, hey, I haven't seen that before. And I will pin it, too. So I think that's a great idea. Now, my big question is, you, you both live in the same city. So do you, do you live it in the same neighborhood? Do you, do you get together to craft? I mean, how does that work? And Jamie can answer um, this question. Well, when we started the blog, we lived in different states. Because my husband and I were living in Maryland at the time. And this was one of the ways that Miranda and I kind of kept in contact all the time. We were on WeChat constantly. We were both stay-at-home moms, and we were friends, and we were far away from each other. And so we were always on WeChat. So then when we started blogging, it was just like one more thing to talk about. Um, but then thankfully, um, in May, my husband and I and our little girl moved back to Charlotte, which was awesome. And um, so now we're in the same city, and we only live about 10 minutes from each other. So we have done some projects together, or we kind of coordinate on projects, um, and we have a few things that we're like, we want to help the other person with them. So that's been fun. So and we'll like meet at Michael's to go shopping or something. <laughs> so it's fun to be in the same city to do things like that together. And our kids are the same age, so it kind of makes it, we you know, nap time is time that we can craft. Yeah, that sounds great. I, I think meeting at Michael's is, is an awesome day um, anyway. So that sounds like so much fun. And I think you two were just uh, meant to be, just meant to be thrown into a blog <laughs> together, into this crazy world that we call blogging. 
And, of course, you heard Jamie talking. So, Jamie, tell us a little bit about yourself other than what we see on the blog. Well, um, I'm originally from New Jersey. I grew up there. I moved to Charlotte when I was 20. So I kind of feel like I've lived here. I've lived here a while. Um, so most of my adult life, I feel like I've lived in Charlotte. Um, I met my husband here, and then he got a job in Maryland, which took us away from everybody, and we moved to like a whole new place and lived there for a couple of years. And I had, um, I was pregnant at the time, so that's where I had my daughter. And um, when he got a job opportunity back in Charlotte, we did like a happy dance, and we got a chance to move back. Um, and I had lived pretty much, I've had a job since I was 16, so staying home with my daughter is awesome. It's the first time I've been able to do that and really got to use some, have some time to do some more crafting and projects and have a little bit more of an opportunity to have a creative outlet. So it's really been fun and obviously raising a child is a job in itself, but it's been a whole new life for me to get to do that. Um, so it's kind of been a fun adventure. Right. Oh, well, kids will um, definitely change your life. And staying at home with them definitely changes your life. It's a whole new world. And I think that's why so many women start crafting and start blogs, because it's such a good outlet for us to have our own little something going on, you know, our own little um, escape that we can just go to. And I think that's why it's very good for women to do that and to have that little creative outlet, because we can get so involved um, with just the kids and running around, and but sometimes we forget to do those things that we love, and and it is such a great opportunity to stay home with them, of course. And you know, I wouldn't change that for the world. So I know that um, having these blogs helps us. It helps us, but it also helps us to connect to other women too, and other bloggers, and have those relationships as well, which both of you have figured out and are doing it very well. I know there's going to be so many people jealous that they haven't done this and um, and have that little relationship that you have. And, of course, we are talking to the ladies of the Pinterest Project because this week on the CS Project is all about Pinterest-inspired. Whatever, we've done this challenge before, but it got so many, um, it got so much attention and people love it. And I think that it should be, um, maybe every three months kind of thing because so many times we do pin projects and we don't get around to doing them because why because you forget and why should I but when there's a challenge on the line people can uh, you know have that little inspiration they need to to do something um, that they have pinned and of course link it up um, to the CSI project um, to get into the competition so that is why we are talking to them, because these ladies know a little bit about Pinterest, and so I thought they would be experts on it, and they would be able to tell us a little bit more and go a little bit deeper maybe than what we do, or maybe there's somebody out there who hasn't really gotten into Pinterest that much and may want to, and so maybe we have some good information for them as well. And I think that Pinterest has changed the craft world. And of course, a lot of I'll, a lot of us know the you know the craft world before Pinterest, and so I wanted to ask you, how do you think Pinterest has changed the craft world? World, and is it a necessarily a positive thing, or is it you know just kind of in the in the middle? It can be positive, it can be negative, and what are your thoughts on that? And uh, Miranda, you can answer this one first. Well, I, I mean, full disclosure here, we weren't blogging before Pinterest, so right. I can only speak from, from our current experience. I um, do think Pinterest has been great exposure for a lot of bloggers. Um, for us, it's one of our top referring sites, and it definitely was, you know, and, and still is one of the um, sites that kind of catapults us into readership that we might not have been able to reach without it. Um, so I think there's a lot of good to Pinterest. Um, you know, I think it's it's probably changed the craft world in that it's brought this whole crafting, you know, blogging community out out there. Um, I think maybe not a lot of people realize there were so many crafty bloggers um, or people that do all these amazing recipes or, or crafts or home tips that you find on Pinterest. It's just a great place to find 
everything all in one area. Uh, so I think it's been really good from that aspect. Um, I also think there's, you know, a little bit of a negative side to it if people don't pin responsibly, if things aren't linked appropriately, or if they're not, you know, given the appropriate credit, uh, people get their stuff stolen. Um, so that can be the difficult side of Pinterest. I think that as Pinterest grows as a site, people are trying to, you know, follow the rules a little better or to make sure that things are, you know, pinned responsibly, for lack of a better term. Uh, the more bloggers, I think, that use Pinterest, the better because we know, you know, kind of how to give credit where it's due and we want that for ourselves. So I think we try to give that same respect to, to other bloggers. So I think in, in that aspect, it, it can be really good for us. I think the good definitely outweighs the little bit of negative that, that comes along with, with Pinterest. We've had, you know, a really fun time with it. Obviously, we, we base a lot of our, our lives and our blog around, at the, around the site. So we, we think pretty highly of it. Right. And of course, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go to your Pinterest page, actually. So that's on the screen as you talk. And, and I see that both of you have one. So yeah. I just clicked on Jamie's. So uh, Jamie, how, how would you answer that question, too? Well, I completely agree with Miranda, but I think that it, the good definitely outweighs the bad when it comes to Pinterest. I mean, personally, I, there were probably, I probably followed about 10 blogs before Pinterest, and they were, you know, some lifestyle blogs, some craft blogs, a couple cooking blogs, but really, unless a blog was really big, I didn't really even know how to fund it. When Pinterest came, it was like, all of a sudden, it was a whole new world of blogs for me, a whole new world of ideas and inspiration and craft and things where I was like, why didn't I think of that? Or, oh, I like that idea. I want to do it different, though, and try it this way. And, and it opened to a whole new network of people and blogs that I never knew, you know, even were there. So for me, that was an awesome thing. And it was also a way when, you know, the more people that started to get on it that I knew, I was amazed at even some people were kind sort of acquaintances, but I didn't really know them that well, follow their boards. It was kind of a little bit of an insight into who they were. Because you see what's pinned and you're like, oh, they kind of like the same stuff I like or whatever. And it was kind of a get, different way to get to know people if that even makes sense. So it's been really interesting to me to watch it from a social aspect as well as just from like an inspirational blog aspect. And, Obviously, our blog is based on things we find on Pinterest, so we spend a good amount of time on it. It's like a black hole of my free time, but I, you know, so I do really enjoy it. Um, I do think there's times where you find that people have pinned something and it wasn't really theirs, or they didn't give credit for something, or the picture was from some other place. And that's unfortunate, but I do feel like they're trying to work through that and fix it, and Pinterest is working on it, and I think as bloggers are talking about it more, that's also a way that it's kind of becoming more of a responsibility of the reader. So overall, I really think it's a good thing, and it's really given some bloggers and small bloggers a way to kind of get their foot in the door. So I think it's been a really good thing and a positive thing. Yeah, I think so too, and, and it has reached so many people. I mean, one day I got a... Um, a Pinterest, whatever it is, where I saw my husband had boards, and he hadn't even told me. And this was all, you know, things he was pinning, like, for workout and stuff, like, and some recipes. And I thought, what? He hadn't even told me he's on Pinterest. And what is with these recipes? Is he planning on cooking? I mean, I hadn't seen it happen in our home. So I'm still waiting for that to happen. And also, I, it's weird. But... Everybody is on Pinterest. And then I know one time my, my mother texted me and said, have you heard of this thing called Pinterest? Um, and I thought, yes, Mom. We, you know, Everybody's been hearing about it for a long time. But she just discovered it. So she was very excited. Um, so it has, it, it's, it's hit everybody. And it's actually a very good marketing tool. And they say, it's, uh, I've gone to several conferences, and they, they say that it's one of the four bloggers or four photographers or whoever that is actually the best thing you can do for your business. And um, that's kind of, it's kind of, other than Facebook, it's kind of becoming the, you know, better than that. So um, I know that we should definitely pay attention to Pinterest because it is the up and coming thing. And I think it's great because I was that person that had my favorites, you know, on my computer, and I was just 
filling it up all the time with my favorite things. And I love Pinterest because I don't have to do that anymore. I simply just pin it and go. And I, there's probably people like that who, who love it for that reason. And I love it for that reason because I got so sick of going to my favorites and looking for something and not knowing where I put it and all of that. So Pinterest has definitely saved my life a couple of times. And, and I could just easily pin and go. And I think that's why so many people love it. Um, and, of course, um, I'm looking at Jamie's board. But mm -hmm. what is your favorite boards? What's your, you know, coming up with, I see, you know, the cute titles. But what's your favorite board? What do you, you look at the most on your own board, on your own Pinterest? On my own? Yeah. Um, probably, I think I would go back to the DIYing it one a lot. Um, and then I have, and then the food, probably. I have two different food boards. One is called Food Food Food, and one is called Food and Space. And um, that, those two are, I probably go to a lot besides the DIY. Now, recently, um, because we're starting the voyage into thinking about potty training, um, my kiddo board has gotten some play because I'm trying figure out. I've been reading some books on, you know, potty training and what to do, different points of view on it. And so I've been putting things about that um, and some activities for my daughter as she's getting older. So that's kind of started to become a little bit more of a board that I refer to than it was before. But initially, it's definitely been the DIY because that one I put a lot of crafting stuff in. And then the food because essentially it's become my cookbook. Right. Yeah, I do that all the time. No more, no more recipe books. I just turn on my computer and go to Pinterest, and I find everything that I've ever, you know, thought about cooking. So um, I like it for that too. That is a great thing. And of course, um, Miranda, I have yours up now, and wow, you got a lot. Um, <laughs> and you got a really good one called cupcakes. I think I, I think that got my attention the first. The first thing to get my attention was cupcakes. Um, but, of course, you have your DIY and, and all of that, too. What is your favorite board or the board that you go to the most? Um, I kind of have to agree with Jamie. For, for us, it's the food board. I mean, it has become the cookbook in the house. Every night my husband's like, where did you get this recipe? And I say, from Pinterest. Um, <laughs> it's just something that I really use on a daily basis. Um, so that one definitely gets the most use. I, I would say the cupcake board is one of my favorites just because I love to bake. That's a hobby of mine has been for years, and I love cupcakes. So that is probably one of my favorite boards, but definitely the, the eat board is the most used. <laughs> yes. Yes, mine too. I love mine. And, and then I try everything, so then I have to go back and just start pinning a whole lot of things. But I'm never lacking on the recipe thing. Or the DIY, you know, you're, you're never lacking on that. Or for the home, I think the board that yeah. I pin a lot is for my home. And I could just go crazy pinning there and finding little things and things I could do in my home. Because, you know, nothing in my home ever stays the same. It, it changes. My husband always jokes that he goes to work and he comes back and something's been changed. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> that's just where we are, I guess. But... Uh, yeah, and and do you ever, since both of you are doing this, do you ever pin the same things and not know it? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we do. We try to be organized in, and this doesn't always work, but we try to update a, calendar, a shared calendar so we can keep track of whose projects, you know, who's doing what project and what's coming up. Um, fortunately, so far, we have never really crossed which is really interesting, but there will be times that I'll see, you know, a pin or she'll see a pin that we've, you know, one of us has already pinned, um, but so far we've been able to work it out in a friendly fashion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was just thinking that. How, you know, is there ever a time that you both pinned something and, and, and both started working on something and didn't know it? But, yeah, I think you'd have to communicate with each other on that and talk mm -hmm. all the time. You must talk all the time. I can only imagine, yeah. which is yeah. fun. You know, everybody wants that girlfriend they can talk to all the time. So that definitely sounds like fun. And, um, and of course, you probably have 
a lot of the same boards, you know, and, and you could look at each other's boards as well and see what the other yeah, one is up to. we actually have, we have two boards, because on Pinterest you can actually have a board that is combined with someone else, like oh. a group board. So we have two boards that are combined boards. One of them is for the blog itself, and so it's just called the Pinterest Project blog, and that's where we pin our daily posts and we both use that board. And then we have one that's called the hit or miss because on Mondays we do a post, most Mondays, we do a post that talks about, you know, just funny things we found on Pinterest because it's not just recipes and like crafts. You can find hilarious stuff that's just floating through the Pinterest world. So we kind of pin things there too. Um, and that board is combined so we can both pin to it. And sometimes it'll be funny because I won't have looked at the board for a little while and then I'll be like, Miranda hit like jackpot and had like 10 days that day on their miss <laughs> board. Or like, you know, I'll look at different things and see what she's pinned. And that's how we kind of keep track of each other's stuff that way. But that's, those boards are combined. So if you look at my profile of boards and hers, those two boards are the same board. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah, and it, and as far as blogging goes, um, who do you switch off and do posts, or does one person do a certain amount of posts? Um, who likes to do all that, and who likes to do all the the um, you know get you know I don't know linking up to parties and all that? Do you both do it? Because I would think you'd have to communicate very well for that too. Yeah, we switch off days. Um, on Monday, we do the hit or miss post, and it's kind of a combined thing where we each, you know, contribute what our funny pins of the week have been. And then on Tuesday, I post, and we'll say Jamie posts. On Thursday, I post, and on Friday, Jamie posts. And that's been our routine, really, since we started. So it helps us, I think, stay organized because we always know every, you know, I post on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and that hasn't changed. Oh, I see. And of course, and, and I see that you also have a link party, or I, I guess it's more of a blog top, right? A what? Is it more, is it more of a blog top? The, the Pinterest link up? Yeah. Or is that for Pinterest? Did, oh, I see. It's a Pinterest top. We did mm -hmm. that one. That's with a, a, an, a, a blog that we sponsored. Kind of hosting, oh. So hosting them. We don't normally do that. Oh, I thought I thought that was you, what you normally do. So tell us what we should know about your blog. What do you do um, daily? Do you do you blog daily? And what do you blog about? Are there any special features like the hit or miss um, blog post? Um, pretty much. I mean, Mondays are usually the hit or miss, and that's that's a pretty standard feature unless every once in a while we'll put something else in on a Monday. But um, that is kind of our little funny combined beginning of the week post. And then really the rest of the week, whether it's Maria's posting or I'm posting, it's something we've seen on Pinterest and we've either decided to try it or tweak it or we had like an inspirational idea from it. And then we kind of move from there. Um, and so it could be anything from We've done recipes and cookies and dinners, this kind of thing, or um, you know, any kind of a craft. Or we, you know, there'll be times as simple as, you know, carpet cleaner, where we are trying to come up with a better way to clean the carpet, or dishwasher detergent, and um, something that we've seen that has come from Pinterest. Most of what we we about has been inspired in some way by a pin that we saw. And so we, we show the pin that we actually were inspired by or that we're referring to with the blog that that came from or the site that it came from because it's not always a blog. And then um, kind of talk about what it, what it is and what we changed or what we did or what we liked or what we didn't like. And sometimes they're huge successes and sometimes they're big fat fails. <laughs> but it's just kind of we tell our readers what, what happened with it and kind of go from there. I think that's a good idea, too, that even if it does sort of fail, to talk about it, because not everything is just perfect, and I like that idea, too, that you're willing to, to do that. 
and and to tell that to your readers. And you ladies are going to be the guest judge um, this week on the CSI project. So you're going to be sitting in the hot seat and you're going to have to be making those hard decisions. It's not an easy gig. It's actually pretty hard because we have so many great crafters that link up um, each week and are so amazing and in their inspiration that they give. So I wanted to ask both of you, how are you going to go about choosing these, uh, choosing the winners? Are you going to do it together or one of you pick five and the other pick five? How's that going to work? How do you, what's your game plan? That is a great question. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think pretty much everything Jamie and I have done has been a collaborative effort, so I don't see that this would be any different. Um, I assume that we would both kind of, you know, maybe pick out our favorites and then discuss them together and narrow right. it down from there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think everything we do, we work pretty well together on, you know, coming up with any idea or making decisions. So I am sure it will be the same for the contest. Right. And, you know, I could even give um, both of you um, – I'm doing that this this past week to do that each of you because there's two different judges pick out one that's your all-time favorite and then do the rest together so maybe both of you have a number one favorite and then do the rest together that could work out too but we of course you can decide that and obviously it's just a fun thing and it's really fun to be a judge because you get to see and visit all of the blogs and you may find a blog that you never knew before and that's very very exciting and of course seeing all the inspiration I think you're probably going to do a lot of pinning and, and finding <laughs> your own inspiration to do and all of that finding new projects to do which is very exciting and so of course um, you should have a good time and all week long you know you will be um, talked about on the blog and the Facebook page, so that's always fun too, that people will get to know you, and they'll come over to your blog and see who these judges are, and um, I always encourage them to, you know, sweet talk you, and maybe maybe <laughs> that will help, but, um, and and if it's a, if somebody pinned a recipe, you know, you could always tell people that they should send you um, the recipe, that way you can make a very informed decision on their post, but, <laughs> That's, That's a great idea. idea. I don't know. But it's a good idea. It's a really good idea. So I'll, every cooking challenge, I'm always, you know, should I get some of this that you guys are making? Send it to me. Um, I think That's I should right. get a little bit of that. I am not above bribery. Yeah. No, I'm all for bribery. I, I'm all for it. You know, when you have kids, you're all for it. You know, <laughs> you can <laughs> bribe them to do whatever. Right now, I'm currently bribing my oldest to bring home his laundry because he just left for college so um, I'm trying to bribe him as much as possible to come home and eat and bring his laundry and his dad's going to give him Aww. quarters and um, I said no I'm not above bribery I will do his laundry if he walks through the store and comes home and doesn't just stay in that dorm the whole time um, but so of course you know uh, Maybe maybe people will sweet talk you and and you can talk to them and go and visit their blogs and really see who they are. You never know what you're going to find, and that's always very very exciting. So I hope that you're excited to be a guest judge, both of you, and and um, everyone can come over and see your blog. Of course, I always encourage people to do that and to get to know you. And I have three questions at the end of every, every interview and you can't get away from it. You have to answer them. And oh, man. You, I mean, it's part of the challenge. We're all about challenges around here. So, um, but they're fun questions. So one of you can go first and the other one goes second. But um, the first question is, if you only had one cracking tool, Something that you craft with. If you only had one to pick from, what would it be? Um, Your yes. favorite. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> That's why I knew I had to say it first. <laughs> it completely would be my hot glue gun, even though I have a love-hate relationship with it because I <laughs> burn myself every time I use it. Um, I'm pretty sure that I couldn't live without it. <laughs> 
Yes, I agree. But you know what I just saw? I mean, I just saw this, and I got really, really excited because I use my hot glue gun all the time. And I really hate it whenever I try to push down something I just glued, you know, because you want it to stay. So you push it down, and, of course, you burn yourself. Um, but you're willing to do that all for the project, so you do it. But I found um, when I went to this... Um, Michael's conference, it was all the new products coming out, and they have this wonderful little thing that goes on your finger, and now you can push down, and it, you will not get burned. So, fingertips. yeah, yes. I mean, I was yeah, really we, excited and thought, why hasn't have anybody, why haven't I done this in my own home? I mean, I have, like, even get a thimble out and, and use it, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. So, anyway. Um, I also have a love-hate relationship with my glue gun and, you know, and finding those glue sticks everywhere, but can't live without it. And um, so what else? Favorite? Um, or both of you have, do you both love your glue gun that much? <laughs> I, I love my glue gun, but if I had to pick a second choice, it would probably be my Cricut machine. I use that a lot, so that's been a good a tool that I never thought that I would use as much as I do, and I actually didn't quite understand it when I first got it, so it took me a little time to warm up to it, but I actually use it more than I thought I would, so that's been yeah. a good, good investment. Yeah, I'm still a Cricut girl. I still use my Cricut. I still love it, still use it all the time, so I'm all for the Cricut, and I have the, I don't even know what version I have, but I love it, so it doesn't matter. But um, I absolutely love my Cricut, and I don't know what I would do without that either. I don't think I've cut out anything um, ever. So, And it's really funny because my youngest, um, she told her teacher they were cutting out shapes, and she said, why don't you just use your Cricut? And, funny. you know, here's this little third grader telling her teacher what to do, and I was like, okay, not everybody has a Cricut, and we still have to cut out shapes, even though we don't do it at home. We still have to cut out shapes. So um, kids growing up nowadays, they don't even know that we used to have to sit there and cut out those shapes and letters because um, they just <laughs> use the cricket. Um, so uh, who knows what we're teaching these kids nowadays. Um, and, and another question that both of you can answer is if you could spend a day crafting or going out to eat, whatever it is you want to do, shopping, with one craft blogger, Ooh. who would it be? Who is that favorite person that you thought, I want to meet her? Gosh, that's a good one. I know. That's hard. It is hard because there's so many great ones out there. I can tell you, I, I was just around 14 of them, and I don't even, they were all amazing, all sweet, and some I knew, some I didn't, and it's a hard, it's very hard. I would have, I would, uh, I spent two days with them, but I would spend more than that. I mean, they're all great, and I would love to craft with them, too. Oh. But it could be famous, and, you know, it could be like uh, Martha Stewart. <laughs> right, right. No way. I'm way too intimidated by Martha Stewart. I yeah, can do that. <laughs> I just want to go in her craft room. I don't even yes. care if she's there. I just want to go in her craft room. I think I right think, now... Go ahead, Miranda. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think for me, because I love baking so much, I would definitely choose Jamie from My Baking Addiction. Her blog is one of my favorites. I've been following it for years. Um, I love her recipes. I love her photography. I would love to spend an afternoon in her kitchen and learn learn from her. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I think right now for me I'm a little bit torn in half because I've started this canning obsession. That's what I've actually had people say it's an obsession, which concerns me slightly. But um, I, so I would love to spend some time with Marissa on food in, uh, from Food in Jars because I'd love to pick her brain on how she experiments with recipes because experimenting and canning don't go together to me and I don't understand how they do it. So um, I would love to kind of spend some time with her to pick her brain and understand that a little bit more. But when it comes to like the crafting side of things, there's just so many people who I think that I would love to kind of learn from. 
Um, and one of my things right now, I would love to do furniture uh, to a little bit of a higher degree. And so I've been reading um, vintage revivals a lot because oh, yeah. she does furniture and she does it so well. She does. So I'm like, I want to know how that happened <laughs> because so I have so many missteps. I can usually get the end product, but it takes me way longer, and um, I'm always a little uneasy. And either she just goes with confidence and gusto and gets it done. So I think I'd like to learn that a little bit. Yes, yes, she's really good. And just her her home, how she decorates and everything, I just love it all. She can definitely take a piece of furniture and make it into something I never would have thought. Or a lamp. I mean, I've seen some amazing lamps from her. Or rugs, even. I love mm -hmm. her rugs. Um, yeah. So I, it's I totally like, why didn't I do that? I know. And how does she do it? That's what I want to know. And I saw that there's a contest where she actually lives that um, if, if you win, she'll come and redecorate a room in your house. And, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Awesome. You know, we don't live where she lives, but it would be awesome. Um, I'm thinking, you know, does she get on an airplane and fly? Because uh, she she is actually amazing. And your last question uh, for the day is just name, and you could do this one together because maybe you talk about this, but th name three blogs that you go to daily that are just your favorite blogs, you love the information, a daily read for you. I have, I'm like, have hundreds in my reader that are my daily reads. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. It's hard because you, uh, just three, that's it? I have a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, which, I'm trying to think of which ones we talk about most often, Jamie. Like, we usually talk about a few. Yeah. I feel like it changes every day. I see something new on somebody's blog, and I'm like, why haven't I noticed that before? But I'm, I think I'm... Pretty much, I read East Coast Creative every day, I think, whenever they post. That's one that, and we, I think we talked about that one a fairly good amount. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that I read. I always love. Leave. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. And, of course, the CSI Project. Of course. Yes. <laughs> of course. Follow up that one. And I think that, I mean, obviously, because I have my fanning obsession, I've been reading the food jars and the punk domestics. Um, yeah. Just because I'm amazed by what other people can do. Um, but there's so many. I mean, there are so many craft blogs that I think I read every day. My reader is, I, if I get behind, I'm overwhelmed because there's so many in my reader. I know. I know you can never get behind. You will pay for it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and I also just, for people out there that are interested in your blog and learning more about you, do you ever have guest bloggers, guest posts? If someone, we do, yeah. And how do you pick those? Um, most of the ones that we've had have just been through relationships that we've formed um, online, you know, getting to know other bloggers, finding bloggers that you know, do things that are similar to what we do or um, some that just have really fun personalities that we like. Uh, so most of that has just been through, you know, developing kind of personal relationships with other people. But it's always mm -hmm. nice to have someone else pop into the blog and give a new perspective on things and kind of bring, you know, they bring their readers with them. And we've done some swaps where they post on our blog and we post on their blog. And it's just a fun way of reaching people that, you know, we might not be able to reach otherwise. Mm -hmm. Right. And we have you guest posting in October. Yeah. Which is a yes. super fun guest post. So, yeah, I've got to get on that because I've got to be, you know, looking around and see what I uh, I assume that I'm going to pick something on Pinterest and uh, try to make it, which I need to do that. And, and because <laughs> I, I, I'm one of those, you know, pinners that just pins, 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 and then I forget to actually do it. I've actually started trying to go through my boards and, and, and do that. Um, but I pin a lot of party things, and so I have done those with parties that I've done. But just my DIY or for my home, I tend to think it's a really great idea and then just not do it because I'm just whatever. Just something happens or um, I'm not crafting, whatever. So um, 
I'm going to get on that and I'm going to, I'm very, very excited to be guest posting because I don't get that opportunity very often and I miss it. I, I, I love posting and I don't get to do that because I, of course, have people do tutorials every day and I love doing that, but it's so much fun when I actually get to do it myself and say, hi, there really is a person behind this blog. I exist. <laughs> Because uh, I think some people may not even know that I actually exist, and I'm actually a, an avid crafter, and, and that's why <laughs> I love the CSI Project, because I believe in crafting, but I also believe in sharing it and inspiring other people, and that is my whole mission, is to inspire people to craft, even if they're scared um, or, or don't think that they can do it. Um, I'm on a mission to inspire everyone that they are crafty, and they can do it, and Pinterest is a great way for people to see what they like and try to do it. And that's just part of it. And I love that. And that's why I love this Pinterest challenge. And I think um, you ladies are going to have so much to look through. And you're going to be overwhelmed with the talent. But it is a great gig to have being a, a guest judge. And, and of course, everybody will be looking at finding you. And we can find you on Facebook. I see on your blog. We can find you. Um, I just pulled up your Facebook page. We can find you on Facebook, mm -hmm. and we can also find you on Twitter and obviously on Pinterest. And I know um, I'm going to go over there and, of course, be looking around. And I really love the hit and miss idea. That's actually really cute and really fun uh, thing. I never thought about that. But there are some very interesting things on Pinterest. And... Some you think, why is this on here, you know, but um, I think that's a great idea. So everyone can find them on Facebook, Twitter, and, of course, PinterestProject.blogspot.com, and you can find them directly there and what they're up to and all those fun things that they are doing and crafting and, and blogging about. And I expect to see some uh, posts on canning and, of course, even more food because now that I know you, I know that those are your favorite things. So, or even potty training, I'm sure we'll see some things on that. Um, I don't need that in my life, thank goodness. But, um, and I don't want to go back to that either. So, uh, but good luck with well, that. Feel free to send some advice if you have yeah, it. Yeah, no. I'm going to need it. Each kid is different. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, each kid is different, but, um, um, it's just, uh, you know, but once you get out of the, the diaper stage, my husband always says, once you get out of the diaper stage and you, you after, well, after the last one, after four, after you get out of that uh, diaper stage, he said, you never want to go back. And he is so right. <laughs> you never want to go back. <laughs> um, that's always what he tells people. And I don't tell people that. No, 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 it's true. Um I don't know, he just, but he got, you know, but he says he got, you know, really good at it, so I don't know, he brags about it, but yet he doesn't want it, so, um, so yeah, we expect to see a lot of um, posts about canning and whatever, and I really love the food aspect, I really love that you um, pin a lot of that and try a lot of that, and of course the cupcakes grabbed me and were screaming at me, so. I love a good cupcake. I love a good cupcake. Um, how to decorate them and all of that. I love that because um, you never know parties and things like that. So, and so everybody go over there and you can find. And of course, on their blog, you can find all of their projects where they link up and all those good things and and read more about them and 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 visit them as often as you would like. And you can see them. At the CSI project, they will be their picture will be up on the home page every day this week, so you will get used to seeing their faces. And I encourage everyone to get to know you and butter you up so that maybe they can, uh, you know, sweet talk you into getting into that top ten spot, whatever. But um, we will see you, ladies, this week on the blog and it's very very exciting I'm glad you're here because you are Pinterest experts and <laughs> you have to be to blog about it so um, I'm really glad that you joined me for today's podcast and um, will join me this week we have 
um, a great sponsor as well. We have a sponsor called, it's a little Etsy shop called Wonton Mommy, and she makes these great, just really girly accessories for your baby, for your kids, for really for your girls, and, and oh, it's just amazing. I love all of her stuff, and so she's going to be giving away a shop credit, a great shop credit. She's very generous, so be sure to come on by, enter the giveaway, and see these lovely ladies from the Pinterest Project, and of course, come by every day for your tutorial. And then we're going to start the competition, and it's going to get harder and harder. So come on by and link up. We will be looking for you. And join me next time for another podcast and another week of challenges, another week of guest judges, and, of course, a great sponsor giveaway. So come on back, and I hope everyone has a great week.